What's going on everybody? Day two of Broncos training camp is in the books. Of course, we'll talk about that quarterback competition, but we got to start with the news of the day out there at Dove Valley, and that would be Melvin Gordon. As you know, Gordon shared the backfield with Philip Lindsay last year. Lindsay is now with the Houston Texans, and all indications are Gordon will be the Broncos number one guy, followed by rookie Javante Williams. But Gordon was very honest today at camp when he was asked about sharing time with Mr. Lindsay a season ago. You know, if you just kind of taking away, they feel like you're taking away from their guy. Uh, so, you know, it was in my head a little bit, but, you know, like I said, I got over it. I kind of dealt with what it was. And I was like, okay, we're going to share this thing and we're going to make our plays. He's going to get his, his number going to get called, mine going to get called. We got to go out here and, and make some plays. Time to bring in our Broncos insider, Mike Kliss. Mike, a very candid Melvin Gordon there. What did you make of his comments surrounding Mr. Lindsay? Yeah, it was. And, you know, these guys, on top of everything else, they're human. Uh, Gordon felt like the bad guy last year. It wasn't his fault that the Broncos signed him to two years and $16 million. But to the fans, uh, and, and there's so many fans of Philip Lindsay around here, he's one of those guys who would be popular if he came from Lincoln, Nebraska. And, uh, but he didn't. He came from uh, Denver South High School. He lived in Aurora. Uh, he went to CU, of course. And, you know, he bounces around. He's got that smile, an irresistible personality. Everybody loves Philip, and he was really good. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons. And here the Broncos give his job to Melvin Gordon. And so uh, Melvin uh, did admit that it hurt him a little bit. At the end of the season, when Lindsey got hurt, Gordon relaxed a little bit, and he had a, a very good finish, almost got 1,000 yards. All right, Mike, quickly, who won the quarterback competition day two? Got to go with Bridgewater. He's more consistent from beginning to end. Locke looked good in the red zone at the end of practice, though. All right, catch all your Broncos training camp news and notes by reading Mike Kliss at 9news.com. Thank you much, Mike.